In Revelation chapter 18, verse 23, the Apostle John writes, For your merchants were the great men of the earth, for by your sorcery all the nations were deceived. I want to draw an emphasis to this word, sorcery. Why is it important to know about the occult? Part of my journey that I've been on over the past few years, God has had me rigorously study the occult and the practices involved with them. Along this journey into learning about the occult, God has revealed so many amazing things to me. Biblical dots that were hard, if not impossible to connect through just the Bible alone, suddenly became masterful pieces of artwork with intricate layers of details once I understood different concepts and teachings from the occult. There is a reason the enemy can operate in our world today, and most of the time he does it unhindered. That reason is literally hidden right in the meaning of the very name occult, aka hidden knowledge. The spiritual kingdom of darkness operates in just the way the name implies. It operates in the dark. Not in the sense that it operates out of view, because it operates right out in the open in a lot of cases. It functions in darkness by hiding the knowledge of it from those around it. One of the easiest ways to grasp this concept is to think of an inside joke between you and a friend. You could be in a group of people talking. As you're talking, you can say something that jokes about something only you and your other friend have knowledge about. It's funny to the both of you who know what you're talking about, but the others you're engaging in conversation with are completely oblivious to it. That's a simple way to look at the dynamic of how the kingdom of darkness operates. It has to stay hidden behind a veil. That's the only way it can function. Think of it like this, just like food and water is essential to our survival, remaining hidden is essential to the kingdom of darkness. As followers of Jesus and children of God, it is imperative that we learn about the enemy and his schemes. He is very real and he is active in this world today. Evil is at work. You are in a world that is in a ferocious battle spiritually. There is a real systemic evil that operates throughout this earth, and it has a systematic plan to devour your soul. That is the goal for the kingdom of darkness. When you realize that the spiritual battle we are in is physically manifesting in the world around you, it will shake you to the very core of your being. Once you start to see through this veil, you will be shocked. It will be unbelievable. It will frighten you. It will confuse you. It will anger you. It will make you sad. You won't be able to sleep some nights. It will cause moments of hopelessness, disdain, and apathy. It will apply pressure to every joint in the constructs of your mind. You will question all of the lies you've been programmed to believe. You will not be the same person ever again. But before you throw in the towel and concede to the evil that imprisoned you, realize that someone has already stepped into the midst of this. His name is Jesus. He will give you faith. He will embolden you. He will teach you. He will give you peace. He will make you joyful. You will be able to sleep in the middle of the storm. He will give you an endless supply of hope, value, and love. He will rebuild and fortify a wall around your mind. You will be made new. You will finally know the truth and it will set you free. In Mark chapter 4, verse 22, it says, For nothing is hidden except to be made manifest, nor is anything secret 
except to come to light. God is exposing the works of the enemy. It is time to reveal to the world what evil has been up to for 6,000 plus years.